name is George Peasley, and today I painted Vincent Van Gogh's room. I think the thing that stood out the most was the the green color on his floor. You kind of don't notice it at first. It's reflective light from his walls and from the window. This goes to show how amazing he was as a painter, like picking up on those little subtle nuances and turning it into a masterpiece. I think the coolest part about this painting is the architectural application of VR. I literally just whipped up three walls and a, and a floor and it felt like I was able to create my own environment. I was in a different place. It felt very small. I think that in itself is amazing. If you look at the original painting, his perspective is a little wonky, but you know, that's part of the charm and his style. Uh, although I did use the grid to like get flat planes. I did not use anything for, you know, any of the furniture. That's all freehand, kind of like the way he painted it. I kind of wanted to emulate that charm. I feel like if people wanted to map out what they want their room to look like, they can do this and they can interact with the objects that they draw. I think for me that was the coolest thing, like standing next to a bed that I just drew, sitting on a chair that I drew. The initial thing that blew my mind was actually being in the room and interacting with the objects that you just draw. There's a couple bottles, uh, there's a cup, uh, and what seems to be a brush. It's very minimalistic <laughs> in that it has the bare essentials, but it didn't look like, you know, it looks like he actually did separate work from his private life because I don't see like any of his studio equipment in there, so. The architectural applications for VR is just like, this is just the tip of the iceberg. So pancake.